oh, hey, I'm just trying to figure out what word these letters spell when unscrambled. But we'll get to unscrambling things in a minute. Congratulations, you've made it to the halfway point of this unit. So far, you've learned about how you can have multiple activities in an app, how to use fragments, and how to use the Jetpack navigation component. Now it's about to get even more exciting. That's right, you guessed it. We're about to enter the world of architecture components. Specifically, you'll learn how to use powerful libraries like view model and live data to architect or design an app. Just like how you want a well-architected building to withstand the test of time, a well-architected app will be easier to add onto and maintain. In addition, this architecture simplifies handling the Android activity, fragment, and application lifecycle. Following good app architecture practices is a crucial step towards becoming a more mature Android developer, and this will be your first chance to gain hands-on practice. You'll build the Unscramble app, the game that I was playing earlier. And if you guess the word correctly, your score increases. If you guess incorrectly, an error shows, but you can try again. If you get stumped, you can skip the word. After you get through 10 words, the game is over and this dialogue pops up with your final score. By the end of this pathway, you might be better at unscrambling words, but you'll definitely have a better grasp on how to use Jetpack architecture components in your Android apps. You'll be able to store data in a view model and use data binding with live data to update the UI based on data changes in your app. It's a pretty powerful stuff. <laughs> I should have known. It spells haircut. I could totally use another one of those. Now that I've solved my problem, let's explore how architecture can help solve your app development problems. <laughs>